A register is a holding place for a number in a CPU. Let's have a look at how this works. So in the previous video on latches and flip-flops, we looked at how we could build a D flip-flop with an enable line. Here I've put eight flip-flops together. Also in a previous video, we looked at binary and how eight bits of data could represent a number in a byte. So the register is going to hold a byte of data by holding eight bits in eight flip-flops. So if you look more closely at the flip-flop, we have the two NOR circuits and they will latch in whatever value is on the data line, which is this blue line, when the enable line is enabled. The enable line is this black line. The enable line is wired up to an AND gate with two inputs. One of the inputs is a control line where we can just switch the input on and the other input, the cyan input, is the clock line. The output from the register, we've got an LED so we can see what value is in the register and then that also goes into an AND gate and then we've got an out control line where we can switch that AND gate on to let the data through. The blue lines are wired to a data bus. Now the data bus is just a, a set of eight data lines that we can load data onto and take data off. Then we've got a set of input switches over here where we can put data directly on the bus and we've got a clock, a, a simulated clock at the top where we can send a clock pulse through on the clock line. So let's see we, how we load a value into the register. We can put a value on the bus, let's say 65, so 64 plus one. We can see the input LEDs lit up there, the, the 65 and the one. They're also lit up on the bus and we can see the, uh, the values flowing on the bus. And that's flowing into the data lines of the, of the latches in the register. When we switch the input to the register on, that connects one of the inputs to the AND gates of the enable line. And when we send a clock pulse, it will complete the enable line, send a pulse into the flip-flops, and the flip-flops should flip and load the value 65. So we send a clock pulse through, and the register has lit up the value 65. We can switch off the input lines now, switch off the register input, and when we switch on the register output, that then outputs the data back onto the bus. And there's 65 back on the bus. We just run through it again quickly. Let's put 128 and 32 is 160 and 1 maybe, 161. Switch on the register input, 5 o'clock pulse, and the register flips to the value 161. When we switch off the inputs, the register holds the value. And when we switch on the output, the register puts the value 161 on the bus. So that's how a register works. I'm going to continue developing this model of a CPU to demonstrate how all the different parts of the CPU work. So if you'd like to follow the series, click subscribe. And thanks for watching.